MailChimp is one of the most helpful email marketing tools for small businesses, even for beginners. Here's how you can create and send out an email marketing campaign through MailChimp in five easy steps. Step one, sign up for a MailChimp account. To get started with MailChimp, visit the MailChimp website and sign up to create an account. There are several plans you can choose from on MailChimp, ranging from a free plan to paid premium plans. The plan you choose depends on which features you need. You can also upgrade your plan later on. Once you've chosen a plan, input your email address and create a username and password. Once you've set up your account, MailChimp will then email you a link to verify it. After clicking it, you'll be prompted to fill in some personal details and answer some questions about your business and what you need from MailChimp. After answering MailChimp's prompts, you'll then be directed to MailChimp's main dashboard. This is where you'll access all of MailChimp's email marketing tools. Step two, adding your contacts to MailChimp to build an audience. Before getting into building an email campaign, you'll first need to create an audience for your emails by building a contact list. There are four ways to create an audience list on MailChimp. You can import contacts by uploading a CSV file. You can input contacts manually. You can integrate MailChimp with other apps, or you can add contacts through web forms. We'll go through the process for each, starting with using a CSV file. On your dashboard, navigate to the Audience tab on the left-hand menu bar, then click Audience Dashboard. In the next screen, click the Add Your Contacts button, then choose Upload a File, then click Continue. Click Browse, then locate the CSV file with your contact list, then click Continue to organize. In the following screens, you can select the status of your contacts, add tags, and organize your column labels before finalizing. Once you're done, click Finalize Import, and MailChimp will automatically import your contacts into their system. The process might take a few minutes, depending on the size of your file. Next is inputting your contacts manually into a MailChimp audience list. Navigate back to the Audience dashboard, and under Add Your Contacts, choose the Copy and Paste option. You can then manually type in or copy and paste your contact's email address, name, and address in that particular order. However, you can also just add their email addresses, which is the only detail MailChimp requires. Continue to organize and tag your contacts and finalize your import. You can also import contacts in MailChimp by integrating with another sales or marketing app that you are already using. Simply choose a third-party app to import contacts from, follow the prompts, and then MailChimp will automatically import them into your audience list. Finally, you can also import contacts through MailChimp's web forms. These forms are useful for generating leads on your website. On your dashboard, navigate to Sign Up Forms under the Audience tab, then choose the kind of form you want to build. Once you've selected your form, you can edit its content, style, and layout in the Form Builder. Once you're done editing, click Save and Publish to connect your form with your website. Step 3. Creating an email campaign with MailChimp. Once you've imported your audience list, you're ready to build an email campaign with MailChimp. On your dashboard, click Create on the menu bar, then choose Regular Email to start a new email campaign. The next screen is where you'll be able to edit the details of your email campaign, such as your campaign name, your recipients, your from field, and your email subject. To edit your email campaign's name, click Edit Name at the top, type in your preferred campaign name, then click Save. The To section is where you'll add in your email's recipients from the contact lists you imported. Click the Edit Recipients button and choose your audience list. You can also personalize the To field with their first name, last name, or both. And you can use segments or tags to send your email to specific sections of your audience. Once you're done, click Save. After choosing your audience, you'll also need to customize your campaign's From field so your recipients know who they're getting emails from. Click the Edit From button, then type in the name and email address that will show up in your email campaign. Make sure you use a professional email address to boost your credibility. Next, you'll add a subject line to your email, as well as a preview text, which appears just after the subject in your recipient's inboxes. Ideally, you want your subject line and preview text to be short, catchy, and enticing. Step 4. Designing your email. Once you've completed your emails to and from fields and subject line, you can start designing your email's layout and content. Start by clicking the Design Email button, which will then automatically lead you to MailChimp's new email builder. 
MailChimp has two email builder interfaces, a new builder with a modern interface and the classic email builder that's been around for years. Whichever option you choose, both builders are easy to use and let you build professional and organized email campaigns. If you're a new user, MailChimp automatically directs you to the new email builder, but you can also switch to the classic builder by clicking the drop down button on the top right of the screen. In MailChimp's new email builder, you'll automatically be presented with an email template layout. However, you can also change your email template by clicking the template bar on the left-hand menu, then choosing the template you want. To add a text, click on the text element and type in your text. You can also reorder elements by clicking on the compass icon to the right of the element and dragging it around. To add a new element, click on the Add tab in the menu bar, choose the elements you want to add, then click and drag it over to your email layout. You can also undo and redo your actions on the top menu bar and preview your design before saving and exiting. The other way of designing your email is by using the classic email builder. Choose the switch to classic builder option, which will then prompt you to select an email template. Once you've chosen a template, you'll be directed straight to MailChimp's classic email builder. In the classic builder, to edit an element, click on the elements edit icon, which will then open an editable section on the right side of the screen. Type in your text, then click Save and Close. To add elements, choose an element from the menu on the right side, then click and drag it over to your email layout. To delete an element, click on the elements, then click on the trash icon. Once you're satisfied with your email design, go ahead and click Continue to prepare your email for sending out. Step 5. Sending your email campaign. In the next screen, you can review and finalize all the details of your email campaign. If everything's clear, go ahead and click Send and MailChimp will automatically send out your campaign. MailChimp also has the option to schedule email sends on its paid plans, which lets you schedule your email campaigns to be sent out at specific dates and times. This is particularly helpful if you're planning on expanding your email marketing strategy in the future. And that sums up how to use MailChimp to send out your email campaigns. MailChimp is one of the best and most reliable email marketing tools for small businesses, and you can get started today with a free plan. We hope this is helpful, and thank you for watching.